All right, guys, come back at you with another one. As you can see, we have the TRS4M Tarantula on the bench tonight. This is episode two, guys. So we have the body panels out. Body panels, You, of course, you have two different hood pieces. You have this one. I'll pull them out in a second. You have one with like a motor on the top and then one that's like flat. You have the light bar. I have the shocks I showed you in the last video. And I picked up these RC all-wheel drive brass bead locks. So what we're going to wrap the brass bead locks in is these Endura Kraken Claws. These are 62 millimeter 1.0 Kraken Claws, guys. So we're going to slap these things on. We're going to get those all bolted up. And we're going to put them on the vehicle. And then we're going to put these shocks on. We're going to mount some of these body panels on. Uh, this hood. I think we're going to do some little painting and a little adjusting to that. But uh, we'll see, guys. Um, let's get it. Yeah, check out those tires. These are the Endura cracking claws I was talking about. Very sticky. And they're very aggressive, guys. I mean, y'all know I'm a fan of the swamp claws, but these are something different. These are the cracking claws. So we're gonna get these things installed on here, get these rings in here, and uh, I'm gonna throw this thing back in hyperlapse, and we'll see you guys in just a minute. Let's get it. All right, guys, we got the wheels all bolted up, ready to go. Now we just need to pop open these shocks, get these shocks installed. Let's see what they looking like. We can move this back. We need to bring a vehicle. We got the soft spring, which is silver. We got the hard spring, which is gold. And we got the medium spring that's already on the shock. They're black. We're going to run with the medium spring for right now. And see how they work out. I may have to. I may have to. Uh, use these spaces. I have some spaces somewhere. Uh, I may have to use these spaces right here. When I mount the shocks up here. We'll see. We'll see. But let me throw this thing in hyperlapse. I'm gonna get these wheels on here. I mean, get these shocks on here, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys. So we got the shocks installed. We got the tires all mounted up. So now we're gonna install the tires onto this rig. Make sure I got the right set, right side. Yeah, those should be the right ones. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got one wheel installed and my battery died. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these wheels on here. Let's check it out. Then we're gonna get the light bar and these body panels installed. Just by looking at it, you already know this thing looks very wicked, guys. I love the look of this thing. I think this is the wheel. It goes on this side. Yes, sir. That will be the wheel. Is it going? Guys, we are back. I got the wheels installed. As you can see, wheels are all bolted up. But Houston, we have a problem. If you look closely, the portal axle is actually rubbing on the rim. So I need some type of hex adapter or hex extension to push these wheels out a little further or these wheels are just not gonna work on this build. But we're not gonna stop on that, guys. We're gonna keep pushing on. We're gonna go ahead and install this light bar. Get this installed, get these body panels installed and we're gonna keep pushing forward, guys. Yeah, you know, sometimes monkey riches get thrown into the plan and you can't push forward like you want to, but you gotta keep pushing forward. Just got to. So. That's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to just keep pushing forward, guys. Keep pushing forward. Drop this light bulb on here. Drop these body panels on. And we're going to pretty much wrap this one up. As far as episode two. Episode three, we should have a drivetrain. We should have these uh, hex adapters to straighten these wheels out. And... I'm not sure if we're going to go brushed or brushless with this. This may be a brushless vehicle. Yes, this may be a brushless one. Because I do plan on making one brushless <clears throat> and have one brushed. Because I am building, of course, if you're not following, if you don't know, I am building the uh, IR40. TRX 4M as well. And as far as these body panels, guys, I've already cleaned them off. Alcohol pads, wiped them down. <laughs> they got a little dust on them. I guess from whatever I wiped them down with. But what we're going to install, we're going to install a couple of these stickers on the side. You know, because we are pretty much using all RC all-wheel drive parts on this thing guys so we try to line that up and bam just like that got one panel done stick one on this other panel like that just like that and let's grab the roof yeah that should fit on the roof nicely uh oh all right there we are and just like that now, let's go ahead and get these panels on here. Yeah, that's going to look like a beast. Straight beast, guys. Straight up beast. Let me know in the comments below uh, what kind of powertrain you guys got in your Endura Tarantula Bills. I think I want to go brushless with this one. Or I may go brushed. I'm not sure. But I definitely want it to have some power. Thinking about brushless. But I'm not sure at the moment. You know, things change. But I do have two hoods. This one right here. And I have this one right here. do have two different hoods two different hoods to choose from hmm I like this one better but I better get more flex if I use this one that's what it's designed for that's why it's cut out like this so you can get more flex so I may have to do some painting on this, make it look better. That's pretty much it for episode two of the TRX4M Tarantula build. This thing is looking absolutely awesome, guys. I'm definitely enjoying the build. I definitely ran into a few roadblocks, of course, with these axles, these portal axles and the wheels rubbing on the axles, but that's no problem. I'm gonna get some hex extensions. Or hex adapters or whatever you want to call I may go brushless. I'm not sure, guys. We'll see. We'll see. But that's pretty much it for episode two. We'll see you on episode three. And we'll definitely have this thing running, guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.